Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in time variables, meaning what time is it, right this very second, inside of Scratch to control some animation or some part of your media. I'm assuming that you already know what Scratch is and that you have an idea of what the interface is, but maybe you don't really know how to code in Scratch. So go to, if you're following along, right, load a Scratch project and take a look at this, okay? If you go over on the left-hand side and you have all these categories of objects that you can put in your canvas, you're gonna go to sensing. So sensing is finding something out about the world. Inside of sensing, there is a little object, a tag, that says current year. And if I click, it's 2022. Hopefully it's still 2022 for you. Maybe it's not, actually. Who knows when you're watching this in the future? And I can click on this, and there's a drop-down box. And I can choose month. I can choose the date, meaning today is March the 31st. Uh, and there's also the day of the week. There's also hour, minute, and second. So I'm going to show seconds today because it's the easiest to actually see something changing as the seconds pass by. Um, but just know you can use any of these. And I have them right here with the different drop-down boxes so you can see. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create some media that then we can use this variable to control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Scratch Cat just walk across the screen as the seconds tick by. So I'm saying when I click the flag, let's have the scratch cat go to a specified X position and a specified Y position, which is currently zero, zero, right? So I clicked on that and you see scratch cat jump to the center. Okay, but instead of, instead of zero, zero, the point zero, I want the X position this way. I want the X position to be the current second, okay? So I'm going to grab this variable, right, which I grabbed over here, I dragged it in, I chose second, and I'm going to drag this into whoop, that zero box. So that now when I press this flag, it's going to jump to whatever the current second of the day is, which looks like 42. All right, so click it again. There's 42. There's 44. There's 47, right? So he's very slowly, as the seconds pass by, just taking one pixel steps along his little walk. So that's cool, it works. But I'm guessing that you probably want him to just keep walking, right? You don't wanna have to keep pressing that, that green flag. So then we need a loop. We want this to happen forever. So we're gonna go over to control and we're gonna look for a forever loop. We're gonna drag that in, and I've already done that down here. And we're gonna put this whoop, right there. And then I'm gonna press that flag again. And he's, he's taking a nice slow walk. It's very slow, okay? All right, again, this is a little bit boring, right? Because he's just very slow. So maybe what I want is I don't want him to walk from zero, which is the lowest second, to just 59 pixels across, which is the highest number that a second could ever possibly be. I want him to walk all the way across. Okay, well, I'm now I'm out of the screen. So what I have to do is instead of zero, one, two, three being this variable, I have to figure out like how far this is, how wide is my screen, and then I want him to jump. Let's say that I've got Mm, I don't know, 400, I think it's about 400 is the X width of my screen right now. And I want whoop, to take this out and I want to multiply the current second by the width of my canvas and then divide it by 59, which is the maximum value. So that now, my, my, when my second is 59, almost to the next minute, the cat is gonna be as far as, as it can go over on the right side. And when my second is zero, zero times 200 is zero, right? It divide by 59 and it'll, you can't, 
you know, be fine. It'll be just zero. It'll be starting right at zero, okay? So we're gonna plop this in to that X position and see what happens. Press play. Oh no, it's broken. Oh no, what have I done? Well, it's currently 22, that's not right. Oh, hey, my math block disappeared. Okay, I took the wrong math block. Sorry about that, my divided by 59 came out. So I'm gonna drop this, put the left corner back there. Oh, <laughs> I had to grab the right. Come on, Scratch. Uh, where are you? Grab it by the actual block here and drag that in there. Okay, well, let's see if that works. There we go. 54, 55, we should see the, the cat come back to zero in three, two, one. Oh, it worked! Congratulations. You can use this same mathematical principle to map the seconds, the minutes, the hours, divide by 24 though, 23, not by 59 to map this to colors, to map this to positions, to map this to size. You can make your cat get bigger. You can make your cat get smaller. Whatever you want to do, have fun with this.